Uh, let's see. Marvin in uh, Arkansas. You're on the blaze. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey Pat. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Jeffy, my brother. Morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm the good trucker. Hey, Absolutely, guys, baby. let's mm-hmm. always remember one thing. No matter what, God is in charge. He yeah. did not step out, go to the bathroom, come back and say, what did you guys just do? No, but we have our agency here. You know, he doesn't control. He doesn't, you know, we're not uh, attached to puppet strings. Uh, you know, right. we have our agency and we can do the wrong thing. And we just did again yeah. for the second election That's in a row. And it's, you know, it's these are people who would not normally be elected in this country. You know, right. If we were of our right mind, if we were righteous people, we wouldn't we wouldn't be doing this. And that's what bothers me. Uh, We've turned our he hasn't turned his back on us, but we're turning our back on him. And that's where the danger comes in to me. That seems a little concerning. Yeah, that's concerning to me. Uh, But, you know, good try, Marvin. That was it. That was a good effort. (laughs) (laughs) Is that is that the goal? Make Pat smile today. Yes. Okay, yes, so make we'll me give, feel better. Give Pat hope today. Okay? Thanks, Marvin. Appreciate it. <laughs> we can give each other hope. Yes. And and that is, I mean, that is true. God is, you know, he's in control. Although I, he doesn't control our every movement. Uh, otherwise, what would be what would be the point of this life? There'd be no point. That was Satan's plan to control everything we do, and uh, that's not the way it goes. So we can choose the wrong path, and I, I'm pretty sure we just did. <laughs> so. We'll see. Well, we certainly are going down the wrong path. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And these evil bastards in Washington are going to be celebrating this and rubbing it on our faces. And they're going to be doing what we wanted to do today. (laughs) It's going to be agonizing to listen to Biden speak about how, you know, he's on the right track. And, uh, you you know, you just had to. I just had to tell you more about how great you were doing. Yep. And it worked. I guess it worked. Because if you didn't think that the economy is bad enough to make a change here, uh, wow, are you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? come on. Can I, can I try to give you just a little bit of hope about, sure. about Florida? Mm-hmm. Florida, fun fact I heard uh, was that uh, right now, um, not one statewide office is held by a Democrat. And that has not happened since Reconstruction. Nice. I mean, no, that's if that was only countrywide, right? But Florida's that the would be model. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if Florida is the model, yeah, is anybody going to follow it? I don't think Pro so. Pro freedom. We'll see. That's the that state went more in on freedom than any other state in the union. And look at last night. Joined in the studio by Glenn Beck. Oh, hey. Are you as excited uh, as I am today? Uh, you got to be. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta be. Speak comfort to me, Glenn. Oh my You're gonna God. take Speak. the house. Speak comfort Glenn, to me. That's Speak good, comfort right? to you. Uh huh. The house. I, I mean, do you think we're not there... in prison yet? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Nice, nice job. job. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Thank there's you. a bright that's side. That's yeah. Thank you. Thank you. There's a bright side. We could be lying in a pool of our own blood in New York City. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay. And, uh, and in Texas, roll. in Texas, we might have a few years before we're in prison. You know, because we've got a little bit of freedom yeah. left here, at least. I have to tell you, uh, out of all of the places I would rather be today, it would be Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, Florida. Yeah. I mean, he told a staffer. Uh, he told a staffer that's a great uh, that he is. Uh, they're going to. They're going to march through the institutions. And like Sherman. Uh, like Sherman. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, uh, awesome. you know, there's a reason he won by so <clears throat> many points. You Almost know, he, there is. he yeah. is a guy that uh, is a force to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, if more people, in, you know, the, I, I he read, just set the example for the party. He sure yeah, right? he did. But I, mean, I don't think they're going to get that. I don't either. They're I not don't gonna think get they that. are. They're, they're already ta- the Republicans are already talking about you know we can't be extreme. We oh can't- my god! Shut up! What? They do that every time. I know. I can't they do take that it. every time. I can't take it. Look at the Democrats. You can't get any more extreme than the Democrat Party. Then you're running a guy in 2020 who is so extreme, the USA Communist Party endorses him. They don't even run a candidate because the Democrats fine with them. You don't get any more extreme than that. You don't. And 
when are we going to learn our lesson? You can't be lukewarm what? in this environment. What? Go what? one way or the other. What? I'm going to. It's like the Lord said, He's going to spit you out of His mouth if you're lukewarm and you're sitting on the fence. That's well, what's going to happen. We're all going to be have, spit out of His mouth. You seem to have anger issues. I do have anger issues. <laughs> I don't just seem to. I do have them. I do have them. I do. I do. I do have them. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. I'm really pissed I am, today. I am and, and just really heartbroken. Pissed. So, what do you think happened? I mean, what do you think? Uh, or, or is, is America just that lost? collectively yeah. Yeah. that that's the problem yeah um mm-hmm. uh we have uh, closed our hearts um not 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 all of us um uh, but people are but too uh, many uh, of us too many of us have closed our mm-hmm. hearts we are no longer thinking yeah we're no longer thinking you you the the, the age of logic is over the the scientific age is over we are now living in a world that is run uh, by darkness, mm-hmm. and you know, un- until honestly, I kind of had a blow up last night on the show. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where it, it, it's just stop talking about saviors. Stop mm. talking yeah. about saviors. Where who? who where are all the Christians that are saying, you know, we might be under judgment right now. We mm-hmm. might have lost mm-hmm. all of the Lord's support for protection of our nation. Yeah. Where are the people that are saying, hey, maybe we should be a little more introspective and see what maybe all of us ignored for too long and actually change those things in our own town, our own communities, and in our own lives, and then beg for forgiveness. Yeah. But where where is anybody saying that? I mean, we're never, we are a Judeo-Christian country, and until we have a reckoning with the Lord, there's no, there's no Savior coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's right. I think too many. I, I think too many Americans think the Lord is on our side, rather than we must be on, on his, his side. Yes, That's that was critical. Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln. Lincoln. Yes, and until we're on his side, we're but, not going to get his blessing. So look at Lincoln. He's a great example. In his first term, he just kept beating his head against the wall. Yeah. Loss after loss after loss after. And why loss. was that? Because he wasn't committed. Correct. He wasn't committed to, to God. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. he finally at Gettysburg humbled himself mm-hmm. enough and went, "Okay, Lord, whatever it is you want, just tell us what you want. Mm-hmm. Tell me, I will do what you want me to do." Until that happens, there won't there won't be a, a a savior coming. And then when he made that commitment, it was victory after victory. Yeah, for the union, we lost every battle uh, except except one, one. I think. Yeah, and then. Once he turned, we lost. We won every battle except one. Yeah. So it kind of tells you something. Yeah. And I, I don't know if we're going to get that message. I hope. I mean, do you still think there's what time? I left at about nine o'clock, and it still seemed like everything was fine. When did everything turn ugly? Everything. <laughs> uh, everything stopped around there. Yeah, I mean, it, it just did. stopped. The numbers stopped coming in again? Yeah, numbers stopped coming in. Huh. Arizona things stopped huh. coming in. Okay. Um, I don't think... Sounds familiar. No, I, I really you don't... You don't think there was any shenanigans? Well, I think there were some, but I don't think... Um, I don't think the kind of shenanigans that, you know, would would put uh, the Fetterman in office the way he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... I think the shenanigans is Arizona, maybe. Yep, yep. Absolutely. All right.